Today we're going to make a small keyring in um, Google SketchUp. Now Google SketchUp is a free application. You can get a desktop application or you can use their new free web app. Um, so if we launch Chrome, go to the address bar and we're going to type in app.sketchup.com forward slash app. should bring us directly there. Alternatively, you can search for it and uh, you'll find your way there. So as soon as this opens up, um, we're going to go straight in and try and sign up or register. Um, so if you click up here, um, the first thing it's going to tell you is that the browser has blocked um, pop-ups. So we're going to OK that, go up to our address bar and click here pop-ups and we're going to say always allow pop-ups from SketchUp and click done return back here again and we should have better luck this time so once this pop-up comes uh, pops up <laughs> it's going to ask you to sign up or sign in um, I'm going to just going to sign in with my Google account. That's the handiest way. So we're signed in now. Next thing we're going to go and we're going to get a new model. And because this is a small little keyring, we're going to pick the millimeters template. Okay, so here we are now. We're in Google SketchUp web app. Um, we've got our millimeters template open. I'm going to step through this basically um, assuming that you have little or absolutely no knowledge of SketchUp before. Um, our toolbars are here on the left um, and you can select various different ones. Um, I'm not going to go through them all, I'm just going to do the example and you'll pick up a lot of the, the tools as we go along. Um, in addition to that I'm going to use um, shortcuts so as I pick a tool, I'll tell you the shortcut I'm using. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete the dude here. So if we click on him and then click delete on the keyboard. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to click R on the keyboard for the rectangle tool. We're going to go down to our origin and we're going to drag that rectangle. Just click and drag. Don't, set, don't uh, hold down the button. Just click and drag. And we're don't do the second click because we're going to put in dimensions to have it exact. So our width is going to be 40, so type 40, comma 15. So sorry, 40 for the length, 15 for the width, or vice versa. Then we hit enter. So 40, comma 15, enter. Okay, and you'll see it down here, it's tiny. So what we need to do now is um, we want to round off the edges or um, bevel the edges I think is the word so first thing we're going to do is press T for tape and we're going to set up guides to make this um, uniform to make it look right so if we click on the edge drag in along the green axis and click 6 for 6 millimeters it's going to create a guide there 6 and type 6 and enter and we're going to do the same for each end this time along the red axis 6 on the keyboard and hit enter then we're going to press A to change from the tape to the arc tool we click at this inference point which happens to be an intersection we're going to click here at this inference point once and then as it remains magenta we're going to click a second time Click once, twice, and then third time, once, twice, and then a third time, and then once, twice, and a third time. Okay, so spacebar will get us back to our selection tool. We're going to go over here to display, and we're going to turn off the guides. Next thing we're going to use our push-pull tool to give this surface a depth. So if we press P on our keyboard, it's the shortcut for push-pull. Click on the surface, drag up. Don't click yet, though. 
because we want to define the depth as 2. So click, press 2 on the keyboard and hit enter. There we have our um, the base of our keyring now, 2 millimeters deep. So next thing I want to do is I want to put the hole in the keyring. Um, so if I go to back to my guides, I'm going to turn them on again. We're going to delete the guides that we already had there because we don't need them anymore. I'm going to go back to T on the keyboard to get um, the tape tool. I'm going to click on the end and I'm going to drag to get a guide four millimeters in along the red axis. I'm going to have put a line down the middle so I can have this shape. So I think it was 15. Yeah, it was 15, so that would be 7.5. We need that. Hit enter. Now I want to orbit so I'm over the intersection here so I can see what I'm doing. So click the scroll wheel, actual wheel, click it down, and then drag until you're in a good um, viewpoint. Next thing we're going to do is press C on the keyboard. Okay click the intersection and drag. Make it good and wide, don't click it yet until we define the radius. So we're going to put in two for the radius. Hit enter. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is what we call extrude um, this shape to make the hole. So we'll use the push-pull tool again, P for push-pull. Click the surface. I am going to orbit down and I'm going to go down and click on the edge. Now all these little points here are called inference points. So just click on this inference point, which is the edge on edge. Click. And if we orbit around, we'll see that we've extruded that uh, hole. So I'm going to zoom back out by scrolling on the wheel. I can um, turn off the guides again. Okay, so we're ready for text now. The last thing I want to show you before we go ahead is um, I want to show you how to group um, an object. And it's important we know how to do that because when we try to move um, an object, it can become distorted. So if I press M for move, just to show you, and I click somewhere and drag, see the way the object disforms. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to go back to our selection tool, triple click the object, right click, and then say uh, make group. And now if we go to our move tool, just to show you, um, it moves as just as one object. So um, press escape or uh, space bar. And now we're going to put on our text. So we're going to go over here to this one and we're going to get 3D text and we're going to use this one here and we're going to set it to 1 mil and 1 mil and uh, Mr. Smith click OK and here's our text here now it's way too small so we're going to press S for scale we're going to make that way bigger. It's obviously too deep as well, so I'm just going to change that. So, I'm going to scale. Just have a look at it relative to the keyring itself. The keyring itself is 2 mil thick. So, disembossed text would be probably fine at 0.15 or something high. Hit enter. I'm going to orbit around there by clicking down the scroll wheel um, and I need to pan a little bit so if you hold the shift and the scroll wheel button and move you should be able to pan you'll see the little hand and we still need to make that a bit bigger so we're going to scale it up a little bit bigger now it's not the prettiest text but I have tried other texts and um, the other texts aren't brilliant I'm just going to move that to get it centered and once I'm happy I can click off it 
and um, that's what it looks like so far. So on the reverse now I want to put text also. So I have two options, I can copy this text and I'd have to flip it um, because it's going to be in the wrong direction or I can just go to the other side which I think I'll go to the other side and just put on a um, new text. Now it's going to take a bit of time to get used to orbiting around with objects and um, use the shift then to pan and we're going to go to our text tool again. So in here 3D text and we're going to put in STO for St. Oliver PPS Post Primary School. Okay and here's our text. S for scale, grab the corner, drag it, drag it good and big, click when you're happy, space bar to go back to the selection tool or just M to go directly to move and let's just tweak this so it's pretty much in the center. It is. Uh, hold down the scroll wheel, orbit down, S for scale, Make sure you're going on the blue axis, blue scale about the uh, opposite. And we're going down and we'll put it 0 0.15 again and hit enter. Now, um, that's our text. The last thing we have to do is make sure that it's a solid object. So we're going to select everything. Okay, space bar, um, right click doesn't give us that option for select all yet. If I try now, I have select and I'm going to select all on the same layer and I'm going to right click again and I'm going to say make group and click off that and there we now have one group with everything uh, contained within it. Okay, now there's various different view tools that you can use here um, and you can even walk around your object and pan around your object and um, all those at another time so here's our object um, you can check the entity info up here just to make sure that it's one group okay once you have that done um, you're ready to save it for the printer so what we're going to do is over here we're going to go to save and we'll save it to our profile first in case we need to edit it again or it doesn't come out right in the printer so we're going to call it um, keyring and we're going to put it in the SketchUp library and we're going to press save we can uh, hide that menu there. We're going to go here to file operations and we're going to go to download and the STL file is what we need for the 3D printer so click STL file. Okay and it's downloaded now so if you go to downloads um, there's your file there 